this this young lady we're about to bring in, she's a multi Grammy, Dove, and Stella Award winner. She is also the queen of radio with the hit radio show Get Up with Erica Campbell. She is Erica Campbell, right? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Praise Hallelujah. I'm glad to be at Praise Hallelujah. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> You yeah, look, you know it's black off the top right now. Like, I know who I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but thank you so much for coming on. And um, I just want you to know that we are so excited about your new song. Uh, you know, uh, positive. It is an awesome song. It 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 points people to Jesus. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that new song? So the song was written while we were still in the pandemic, while we were Amen. still terrified of hearing the word "you're positive." And um, I believe that we can take that word back. And I think that the word means what it means. Like despite, you know, COVID and all of that, it is about the uplift. It is about thinking up. It Amen. is about being optimistic and hope filled and even faith filled. And I think that when you, when you understand that, that you should be intentional about being positive. We know this world, it is so easy to be negative. And there are so many people doing it. They don't need more people on that team. We need more people being positive. If the scripture tells us in Philippians to think on whatsoever things are lovely, pure, good report, you know, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, you know, um, think on these things. We benefit from keeping our mind stayed on him who keeps us in perfect peace. Amen. Um, so let me ask you this in, in regards to the track. Who voices that who popped this track off? Who is that? Is that, <laughs> it sounds like, is that you starting the track off? Uh, with the hoo hoo. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. That's you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know you can go that low. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> No, seriously, it just sounds so. It just sounds so full. I was like, man, I didn't know you had this type of range on you. Get out! I kept saying, yeah. who is that? Because I thought it was, you know, I, I'm, I'm not gonna say who I thought it was now, because then you'll beat me up. But I, <laughs> but no, I didn't know that. That is beautiful. Because now it's how all you started me. that track off. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, you know, you and your your, your husband also, you know, he's a Grammy Award winning uh, producer. How do you guys um, always come out with such relevant content and? a uh, sound that's also equally as relevant as the content that you're um, putting out. Um, my husband always says that uh, God writes the songs and we just take dictation. So we're always <laughs> holding pens. We're always recording pieces and God puts the puts it together. You know, um, I was walking around my house singing the positive song. The same way happened with I Love God and a Little More Jesus. Um, even writing shackles, it, you know, God just pours it into you and it is our job to be open to hear what he wants. Of course, from a natural perspective, you have to study your craft. You have to make sure uh, that you're doing your absolute best um, and not re relegating your gift or your talent to a culture or denomination. Um, if God gave it to me, then it's for everybody. If God gave it to me, it should be excellent. If God gave it to me, then it should be progressive. It should be comparable to everything else that you hear. It shouldn't be less than, it shouldn't be lackluster, you know? And so yeah, we just man. really take, um, take to heart and take serious uh, what God has placed in our hands and wanna do the best that we can with it. Amen. Um, so, uh, you, you and your uh, your sister, uh, the beautiful Tina, um, you guys uh, kicked off the Super Bowl with the Black National Anthem, right? Did. So, amen. So, so now it, it's a rumor. I don't know if it, if if it's true or not that you guys was gonna come in hanging upside down, but you guys changed because you heard that Fifty was gonna do it. How much truth it is to that? <laughs> you know, you got me. You got me. You found out the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking with you. I'm just joking with you. But now that's beautiful. I'm glad that you, you guys still um, perform as Mary Mary. So, do you guys are you guys gonna um, record again? Do you do you see yourself recording again? Absolutely. Ish? Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. I mean, Amen. but we've always said that we'll record again. We've we've never said this is our last album. Uh, <laughs> um, but we, you know, we've taken time to grow as individuals, to grow as women, to grow as songwriters. Um, and it's, I think it's really made us way more appreciative of the group. Um, it was a bit overwhelming at the amount of Amen. love we received, the, the, 
the responses and the kinds of responses, the phone calls that we got. It was just absolutely amazing to feel that level of love. We are so grateful for those Mary Mary fans, those diehard fans that uh, were still cheering us on all these years later. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at everything that's happening in your life. You have, a, you know, you have three beautiful children. You have a wonderful husband. You guys seem like everything that you touch just, just blossoms. I truly see the blessing of Abraham in your life. You know, everything that God promises, you, like you guys just walking into it. Mm-hmm. Is that something that you guys look at and, 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 and confess and hold to purposely, or it does it just show up for you guys because you're just obedient to the call? Oh, it, it takes prayer for all of us. I don't think Amen. any of us are exempt from uh, from praying and asking God for things, but I do believe in the power of what you say, which you know leads me to the song Positive. What you say to yourself about yourself is everything. Yes. If you say things like, oh, my mo- I'm gonna hate my mother-in-law, then you probably aren't gonna have relation- good relationship. If you say, oh my God, when my kids turn teenagers, they're not gonna like me, you probably won't have a good relationship because that's what you've declared out of your mouth. You know, if you, if, you know, if a man is looking at his wife as problem, she gonna spend all my money, that's the kind of wife you gonna get because that's what yeah. you've spoken into existence. If the scripture tells us life and death are in the power of the tongue, what you say to yourself about yourself is important. We've got to say what God has said about us. You know, we've got to declare that he can bring peace in chaos. We've got to declare that he is a healer, that he is a provider, right? That every door that he walks me through, I'm equipped to walk through. So I don't have to get an opportunity and be afraid that I'm going to lose it. And I believe he will every step of the way. So that's what I speak over my life, that my children are healthy, that my marriage is good, that my church is awesome, that I love my church and being a first lady. Wow. And um, that's what I believe. Wow. No, no, you, you sound like a woman of purpose, and, and, that's, and that's a beautiful thing, and um, we're just really happy about that. I, I did hear one thing. It's, it's a real woman. It's not, it's not a you know, fake woman, like I just said, but a real thing. I heard that you, you guys are going to do a versus with uh, BB and CC. We are you, on Easter Sunday, oh, live, live from my church, live from the California Worship wow. Center. You want to come I'm to L.A.? Uh, baby, oh, please, I live in Philly. You know I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you don't have to ask twice. Come oh. on now. Hey, please. That is beautiful. Oh, man. You, yo, g- give me give me a few of the uh, other songs you guys going to drop on them first. How y'all going to open up with that? Uh, well, I can't tell you that. You got to watch. <laughs> you got to give it something. Oh, man. That, no, that's going to be beautiful. I, I really do um, thank, uh, thank the Lord that you guys are doing this because um, they give everyone also opportunity to see who uh, put more respect you know, on, on BB and CC name, you know, to, to the young people these days, because some of them don't know. Where, yeah, where I don't think it's a matter of disrespect. I know we say put some respect, yeah. but I don't think it's, I think they just don't know. You know what I mean? If, oh, if yeah, they yeah. haven't been listening to that, then they don't realize how amazing BB and CC are. I am huge fans, so I'll be cheering for them uh, every step of the way. It's, it's more of a celebration. Yeah. For Sunday, we celebrating Jesus and the resurrection. It's the absolute best way to end your day. Yeah, you know, amen, amen. But no, I, I just want to say, you know, I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for always being a role model and uh, and always just, um, just, just, you know, living the standard. I, I appreciate that for showing, mm-hmm. for being transparent. And I just thank want you. to say uh, thank you to you and your family. So um, thank you for coming on Praise Hallelujah. We appreciate you. I know you're busy. Hey, you know, enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely. Thank you for amen. having me. Amen. God bless, guys. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you for real.